Welcome. Today, we're going to do a quick run through of one of the new capabilities released in SRA 3.2, just-in-time provisioning. There are several benefits to this new capability, including faster streamlined user onboarding and stronger security. Once SAML just-in-time parameters are configured, SRA users can log in, are automatically created and associate a permissions group, and able to start work. Let's start in the SRA application. We're going to configure SAML authentication first. Go to System Management and scroll down to SAML Authentication. This will be off by default. We'll toggle the switch to Enable for Web and Application Tunnel Client Access. And we'll need to fill out the information to match our IDP server attributes. We'll now enable SAML authorization for just-in-time provisioning. Toggle to On. Now we'll continue to fill in the just-in-time parameter mapping with the IDP attributes. User roles will be driven by the group association from the IDP. Over in our IDP, we're using Azure, for example, we'll give the SRA application permission to use SAML. From the IDP, you'll copy the group association identifier over to SRA. After you complete the SAML authorization, we'll configure the group. SRA can use an existing or new group and user permissions that are configured in your IDP. For this example, we're creating a specific group called SRA Team. We'll take the object ID from the IDP of that group and copy it to the JIT Group Association Identifier in SRA, and then click OK. User permissions will now carry over to SRA. The user can log in using SAML, and they are ready to start using SRA.